What's up everyone, welcome back. I have a very exciting video for you today because if you've missed out on all of the buzz surrounding Microsoft Copilot, then you've been living under a rock since November. However, when Copilot was launched, it did come with a huge caveat. And that caveat was that Copilot was only going to be made available to organizations with 300 users or more. So unless you bought 300 licenses, you couldn't have access to Copilot. However, we have had some brilliant news in the last couple of days, and that is that Microsoft are now making Copilot available to small and medium sized businesses and also to Microsoft 365 users. Now, the point of this video isn't to go into all of those details about who has access to Copilot. So what I would recommend is that you go to this website behind me and have a little read through. Because if you scroll down to this section, you'll find that that answers all of your questions. Now, what I want to focus on in this lesson is how we can use Copilot to create PowerPoint presentations quickly. Because despite the fact that I don't work at an organization with 300 users, I am just me, a freelancer. Because I am an MVP, I have access to Copilot so that I can show it to all of you. Now, Copilot is available across Word, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint. And in this lesson, we're just going to focus on PowerPoint. Now, the reason why I'm starting with that application is because for me, that is the application where I found Copilot most useful so far. So let's dive in. Let's take a good old look at it so you can see how you can become more efficient when it comes to putting together basic presentations. So I've just opened up PowerPoint and I've created a new blank presentation. And I just have one slide in the presentation and that has a title slide layout. Now, if you do have access to Copilot, you're going to find it on the home ribbon all the way over on the right hand side. So this is kind of the little group where we have our AI tools. So we have designer in here as well. People tend to forget that designer is actually also an AI utility. And that's been in PowerPoint for a good few years now. And these two actually work really well together. So let's fire up Copilot and see what we have. Now, if you're used to using other AI tools such as ChatGPT, then this has a very similar layout and style. We have some suggestions at the top of prompts that we might want to type. And then we have a prompt area at the bottom where we can ask questions. We can get Copilot to do things for us. We can get it to execute commands, things like that. So in this first example, let's just create a basic presentation from scratch. So I'm going to use the prompt create a presentation. And now I can elaborate on what I want that presentation to include. And remember, when it comes to prompt engineering, the more specific and detailed you are, the better. So I'm going to say that I want to create a presentation that has 10 slides about the advantages of using Microsoft Teams for collaboration. So let's send this through. Now I'm going to try and not cut this video too much because I think it's good for you to be able to see exactly how long Copilot takes to return results. And for things like this, it can take a few seconds because it is putting together a presentation, essentially. Now, I think when it is building a presentation, this delay is absolutely fine. But for things like deleting a slide or adding a slide to a presentation, sometimes you'll find that it's just quicker to do it manually. Now, you can see here it's built out a presentation for me. Now, I can't say that I particularly like the imagery that it's chosen to use on some of these slides. But that doesn't matter because we can utilize designer to help us change the way these slides look, or we can just simply insert our own imagery. For example, on this title slide, if we play this, it's actually inserted a video of table football. So I guess this is a nice abstract way of referencing teams, but I don't particularly like it. So we're going to delete it out. So let's press escape to come out of here. I'm going to select the video. I'm just going to press delete because I'm just going to replace this with an image. So let's go to insert. I'm going to go to pictures, this device, and I'm just going to use this image that I have stored off. Now, as soon as I add that image to the slide, designer pops open on the right hand side of the screen. And this shows me a whole bunch of different slide layouts. Again, these are generated by AI that I could possibly use instead. So I'm actually going to choose, let's go for this one just here. So very quickly, I've essentially redesigned that slide. 
And I could go to slide number two and I could open up designer. You can see again, it's generating slide ideas and I could go in and I could choose something else. So let's go for that one just there. And I could carry on going through this presentation. Again, remember that all of the items on the slides are completely customizable. So if you don't like the fonts, you can replace all of those in the presentation. You can switch out the images, you can change the colors. But in terms of just getting something into your slide deck, Copilot is actually really good for this. We have the basic information that we need and we can then elaborate on that information. Now, what else could we do here? So let's go back to Copilot. I can get Copilot to delete the last slide. Now, this is one of those tasks that I think is probably quicker just to do it yourself manually. But just as a demonstration as to the types of things that you can do, you will see in a moment this slide 10, the conclusion slide, will actually delete from the presentation. And there we go, it is gone. Now, if I scroll up to the top, I could choose another one of these prompts. So maybe I want to add a slide about the history of Microsoft Teams. Let's hit enter. Now, occasionally when you're using Copilot, it won't be able to find the information that you're looking for. And I found that a lot of the time, it's simply just a case of rewording your prompt. As I said, you do have to be quite specific and it can be a little bit finicky so far in my experience. Now you can see it's added a slide called the history of Microsoft Teams, and it's actually put it as slide number two. Now I want this at the end of the presentation, so let's get Copilot to move it for us. I'm going to say move slide two to the end of the presentation. Again, I would probably just do this manually myself because it is quicker, but just to show you the types of things that you can do. So again, it's looking things over and hopefully we should see that this slide has been moved to the end. Now, another thing I could ask Copilot to do is add more bullet points to any of these slides. So let's select this slide just here and I'm just going to say add two more bullet points to this slide. Now, if it can't find any more information to create bullet points from, it will just simply add two bullet points into the text box and you can then manually update those. And you can see that that is exactly what it's done here. It just says new bullet point one, new bullet point two. I have seen it pick up more information that's relevant and add to the text box as well. But I found that it doesn't always do that in some examples. So just be aware of that. Now, another thing that's quite useful is the ability to be able to summarize our presentations. So again, if we go down to the prompt box, I could say summarize this presentation and send that through. So what this will do is it will take a look through the entire presentation and it will create a bulleted list of the main focus points. So you can see here, if we scroll up, it says here is a summary of the deck and here are the main ideas. So we have the different headings from the slides and just a paragraph about each. So if we're trying to create a really concise summary of a slide deck and just list out those main points, this is a great prompt to use. And if we scroll down, we have a copy button just here. We can copy this, we can paste it into a Word document, we can paste it into a Teams channel. So this is another feature that I really enjoy. Let's take a look at something slightly different this time. So in this example, I want to create a PowerPoint presentation based off of a Word document that I have saved off to OneDrive. So you can see here, this is the Word document. It's just a very brief overview of the solar system. And you can see that this just has some headings in here and some paragraphs of text. So I want to build my presentation based off of this document just here. So if you have a Word document, what you can do is go to share and let's say copy link because I want to copy the OneDrive link. So the link's been copied. Let's close it down and jump back to PowerPoint. Now notice one of the suggested prompts at the top is to create a presentation from a file. Now, when I click on this, it actually shows me my solar system document just here underneath the files heading. And that's because I have this presentation saved to the OneDrive account that's associated with the account that I'm using for Copilot. Now, if you have your presentation saved to a different OneDrive account to the one that you're using in PowerPoint, you're not going to see it underneath here. This is where you can use the link. 
So check out underneath, it says create presentation from file, then we have a forward slash, and it says type to search or copy and paste the link of the Word document you'd like to work with. So you can come down here and just simply control V to paste that link in and it will link to the same document. So either method works. This one is great if it doesn't pop up underneath that files tab. So let's send it through. So Copilot is going to go away. It's going to take a look at my Word document. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to give me a little summary of the document. So you can see it says, here's the outline for the presentation that I'm generating. And it's just got the headings in there and it's now going away and it's generating the slides. And there we go, it's generated six slides for me. And if I go through, I can see a summary of my document has been added to this PowerPoint presentation. Another cool thing is that if we pull up notes, you can see that it automatically adds notes as well. So if we're working in presenter view, so let's just load up our slideshow and I'm going to say show presenter view, you can see I already have all of my slide notes in here. So this is such a huge time saver. I can work through my presentation and I have all my notes just there. So this is another thing that I really love about working with Copilot and PowerPoint. And once again, if you don't like the design of these slides, you can just simply load up Designer and you can choose something else. So I think that's a little bit more interesting. Let's go to the second slide. I could choose something like that. You can really design these however you want them to look. And if you don't like things like the font, for example, I really, really don't like this font. And if I take a look at it, I can see it says Universe Condensed Light. So what I would do here is I would replace all of the fonts in the presentation. So we've got some body font in these text boxes. And then up here we have this strange font that I've never heard of. So <laughs> let's replace all of these with something a little bit more normal. So on the home ribbon, let's go to replace fonts. So the first font we're going to choose is this one just here. So this is the heading font. I'm going to replace this with, let's go for Lato Black and click on Replace. And you can see immediately that updates. I'm going to replace the body font, which was this weird one, with just regular Lato font. And click on Replace. So again, another quick way of just switching out those fonts and customizing it to suit your needs. And if we load up Copilot again, we can also ask Copilot questions. And if it finds the answer within our presentation, it will show us that answer. So I could say, how far away from the sun is Earth? Let's send that through. And there we go. I have my answer, 150 million kilometers. And it's pulled that from this slide just here. If we expand the references tab and click, it's going to take us to the slide where it found that answer. So we can really interrogate our data as well using Copilot. Now, the final thing that I want to show you is how you can use your own branded templates and Copilot in conjunction with each other. So I'm going to pretend that this is my company template. In reality, this is simply just one of Microsoft's templates that I'm pretending is my company template. So maybe I want to generate a slide deck that falls within the bounds of this company template design, but I want to use Copilot in the same way. So what you would do is you would load up your company template and then basically delete everything out of it. So if we click over here, control A and hit delete, we can then load up Copilot and we can ask it to create a presentation. So let's just go for create a presentation. And this time I'm just going to say create a presentation about the Chelsea flower show. Let's send that through. And there we go. It's generated the slides, but it's using the template that I selected. So what do you guys think of Copilot so far? Let me know down in the comments because I personally would be really interested to hear if you think this is something that you're going to use. I personally really like it for just creating a whole bunch of slides really quickly. There is always going to be that manual element because nothing is ever going to be exactly as you want it to look. But that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.